2014 was Earth's hottest year on record, and with 2015 on course to be even hotter, it's clear that our planet is warming. Since the Industrial Revolution, increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere have led to a marked heating of our atmosphere and oceans. It's the presence of this heat that has and will continue to affect weather patterns around the world, leading us into uncharted territory if nothing is done about it. But despite the overall trend of rising temperatures, it's by no means a straightforward path. Embedded within the warming trend is the complicated tapestry of phenomena like El Nino and La Nina that can dampen or supercharge the strength of the warming signal. Even if you take the warming back to the basic principles of physics, if you add more heat into the global climate system as a source of energy, it'll definitely impact upon the weather that we experience, potentially making it more severe. It's already been accepted that climate change is altering the odds of severe weather occurring. As global temperatures increase, we're going to see increased chance of severe weather events, which are particularly damaging. We're going to see increased chance of heat waves, which, for example, in some regions like Australia, are going to see more bushfires. Uh, we're expecting to see more drought in some areas, such as the Mediterranean, uh, which will impact people's livelihoods as they struggle to grow crops in such a, a dry environment. Even here in the UK, records have been tumbling in the past 15 years. 2014 was the UK's warmest year on record, with eight of the ten warmest years occurring since 2002. But it's not just heat, it's also getting wetter, with seven of the ten wettest years on record in the UK occurring since 1998. Sometimes it's easy to forget just how interconnected weather patterns around the world are, but it really is like throwing a pebble in a lake. The epicentre of the action can be thousands of miles away in the tropics, but the ripples of influence extend far and wide. For example, let's assume that the planet is having another warm year and begin in the Pacific Ocean, where an El Nino is taking place, making ocean temperatures much warmer than normal. The extra warmth is so great that a violent super typhoon forms in the western Pacific, devastating island nations with torrential rain, damaging winds and flooding. The storm then heads northwards, clashing into the mid-latitude jet stream close to Japan. This causes the jet stream to buckle, sending a ripple along it that travels eastwards for thousands of miles, influencing weather patterns as far away as North America and Europe. And the potential impact of this is huge. We often talk about global mean temperature, but no one actually experiences that directly. We experience the weather and the climate in our own location in the UK or wherever we live. So it's important to understand how the global picture will change, but it's crucial to know how that will affect each region separately. With our planet already halfway to the critical two degrees Celsius of warming, it's clear that the leaders of the world need to act now because all of our futures lie in their hands.